page 110, chapter 5, the instruction on the mount. When Emmanuel saw the crowd of people following him, he went up a hill and sat down, and his few disciples and disciplesses accompanying him came to him. And he taught them and said to all, quote, You are blessed while you are rich in the knowledge of the spiritual and you recognize the truth, the life is yours. You are blessed while you endure hardship. Recognize the truth from this and be comforted. You are blessed while you live spiritually or in a consciousness-based manner, in consonance or harmony, for love and peace and wisdom are yours. You are blessed while you suffer hunger and thirst for truth and knowledge, you shall be satisfied. You are blessed while you follow the laws and recommendations. You live according to the regulation of the creation or according to the plan of creation. You are blessed while you are of a pure conscience, you need not fear. You are blessed while you are ones who have knowledge about the laws and recommendations of the creation. You are not enslaved by a false and confused teaching. You are blessed while you are fair ones, nature is subject to you. You are blessed while, for the sake of the truth and the teaching, a human being defames and persecutes you and speaks all manner of evil against you. Thus, he or she lies about these. So be of good cheer and take comfort. Your life today and the life of your next self or your next personality will reward you. For so have the defamers of the truth persecuted the prophets who taught before you and so they will also do to you. So they will persecute and defame and seek to assassinate or insidiously murder you. You are the salt of the earth, and if the salt loses its flavor, with what would something be salted? It is not useful to other things henceforth, unless it be thrown out and stepped on by the people. You are the light of the world, and consider, the city that lies on top of a mountain cannot be hidden. Do not light a candle and place it under a bushel, but on a candlestick. Thus, it shines for everyone who goes into the house and into the area. Likewise, your light shall shine before the human beings, so that each one sees your good deeds and recognizes the truth of your knowledge. Do not think that I have come to do away with the law or the prophets. I have come not to undo, but to fulfill and to reveal the knowledge. Truly I say to you, until the firmament and thus the earth pass away, neither a letter nor a dot of the laws and recommendations of the creation and therefore of the laws of nature will pass away until all happens and is fulfilled. Whosoever violates one of the smallest of the laws or recommendations of the creation and teaches the people the teaching confusedly will be called the smallest, but whosoever carries out or spreads the teaching truthfully will be called great and will receive the thanks of the spirit or consciousness and of the human beings. Truly, I tell you, if your fairness does not exceed that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will not be given the thanks of the spirit or consciousness of the human beings and of life. You have heard that it was said to them of old, quote, you shall not kill, but whosoever kills shall be found guilty by the courts. Truly I say to you, however, exercise fairness according to the laws of the creation, so that you find the judgment in discernment or logic, logicalness, therefore you do not kill. Guilty are all those who kill when not acting in unavoidable self-defense or according to legal verdict based on dire straits or self-defense. Likewise, guilty is anyone who engages in evil speech and commits evil actions. 
Only fairness, according to the laws of the creation and nature, produces a judgment in discernment or logic. Do not accommodate your adversaries if you are in the right, and the judge will presumably or probably decide in your favor. Truly I say to you, you will attain fairness only if you find it yourself and can make your fellow human beings understand it. You have heard that it was said, quote, you shall not commit adultery. Truly, I say to you, however, whosoever has sexual intercourse with someone other than his or her spouse shall be delivered to the court, for it is base or inhumane and contemptible and is a breach against the laws of the creation. If, however, your right eye or left eye causes annoyance, tear it out and throw it away, because is it, a, it is better for you that just one of your members be destroyed than your whole body. Or, this is only meant symbolically. Also valid is this. If you see something that causes you annoyance, then turn away from it, because it is better to look away or not to deal with it than to fret about it. If a thought causes you annoyance, break or destroy it and ban it from your head or consciousness. For it is better to destroy a thought that incites annoyance than to bring the whole world, or thought and feeling world, into an uproar. False prophets, who do not lead back to Nokodemian as new selves or personalities, have brought you false teachings and have led you into evil confusion. It has been said to you by false prophets, who do not have a true prophet's teaching, quote, Whosoever rejects his or her spouse and divorces him or her shall issue a certificate of divorce. Truly, I say to you, however, whosoever rejects or treats with contempt, casts out, casts away his or her spouse and thus separates from him or her, commits unrightfulness, except if a breach of bond or adultery or violence or gewalt is given. If one or a human being commits adultery, he or she is guilty. Whosoever marries a person who is guilty in a divorce commits unrightfulness. You have further heard it, heard it said to them of old through false prophets, quote, You shall take no false oath and shall keep your oath to God. Truly, I say to you, however, that you shall not take an oath with any god at all, for God is only a hazy picture or delusion, imagination. And you shall also not swear otherwise. Do not swear by the firmament or outer space, because it is unending and unmeasurable. Neither swear by the earth, because it passes away, nor swear by Jerusalem, because it is a city of constant change and alteration, built by human hands and laden with God-belief and terribleness into the distant time or future. You shall also not swear by your head, for it is not given to you that you can change in nature or inherently a single hair in its color. Also do not swear by the kind of memory of a human being or of a thing. They are both inconstant and pass away. Let your speech at all times simply be honorable and worthy. Quote, yes, yes, or, quote, no, no. For anything given beyond that is a breach against the laws and the power of the thought or intellect and insight or rationality. You have heard it falsely said through false prophets, quote, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. Truly, I say to you, however, Exercise fairness according to the laws and recommendations of the creation, so that you find the verdict in insight or rationality. Thus, you exercise neither hatred, nor revenge, nor retaliation. Offer your love all around, for it is warranted across all time, and punish through fair guidelines only wherever also the laws of the creation call for fulfillment of guidelines. Give to them who ask of you, if they make their requests in honesty, and turn away from those who want to borrow from you in dishonesty. 
You have also heard it said by false prophets, quote, You shall love your next one and hate your enemy. Truly, I say to you, however, practice love and understanding according to the laws and recommendations of the creation, so that you act rightly and find the good impulsation or feeling in truth. Hatred is contrary to the laws and recommendations of the creation, so you are encouraged to give feasible or appropriate love also to your enemy. Offer your love all around or everywhere, for it is warranted all around, but give no attention to whatever the law of the creation also demands not to be given attention. So, unrightfulness and lovelessness, as well as unpeace and unfreedom, and disconsonance or disharmony. You shall be wise and comprehend or learn the knowledge, because you, as human beings, shall be so nearly or relatively fulfilled or fully developed in the spirit or consciousness, like the creation which made or created you through its laws. Over the course of new lives, as new selves or new personalities, you shall let your spirit given to you or your consciousness comprehend or learn and become nearly or relatively fulfilled or fully developed so that you become one with the laws and recommendations of the creation.